welcome back to my channel it's tavia if you're new here welcome i'm new here too so we in this together all right so today i'm going to be installing micro links by y wigs i have 16 18 and 20 inch afro kinky curly texture so i'm just going to hold it up to my hair so you can see how well this texture matches my hair. I'm already hype, I'm ready to get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair because I did have some products in it from the Wash & Go and I also co-washed the Microlink. So I'm holding up to my hair one more time so you can see how good the texture match still is. My hair's a little bit kinkier, but I think this is a really good match. All right, so I'm gonna start by blow drying my hair. Okay, so my hair already started drying a little bit, so I'm just going to add some water to keep it damp, and I'm going to be using my favorite blow-dry mist by Kenra. I love this blow-dry mist because it's super light, and it makes your hair very shiny. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all, and that's what I need for installing these microlinks. And I'm going to be using my handless red blow-dryer. Let me tell you about this thing. I don't blow-dry my hair very often, maybe a handful of times um, throughout the year, so this blow dryer was like 25 dollars and it's amazing i love the handless design it makes it really easy and it really gets the job done also let me put up my mirror before i get really into it because i don't have eyes in the back of my head and this is just going to help me out with all the parting and everything that i'm going to have to do for the micro links i'm just going to finish blow drying my hair i'm just going to get it as straight as i can with the blow dryer i'm not going to be flat ironing and i'm also going to blow dry the micro links this is just going to help me to see better to part my hair and try to make it as neat as possible okay i'm just checking the texture match one more time that it's blown out and yes it is still hitting all right so i'm going to move on to sectioning out my leave out i'm going to do a middle part and some hair around the edges i'm going to leave a little bit more ha hair out than i normally would with a a traditional stow-in or maybe if i was just wearing like a U part wig or something like that because i want to make sure all my micro links are covered up when i want to switch styles when i put it up in a ponytail or half up half down a bun i just want to make sure my micro links aren't peeking through so i suggest leaving a little bit more hair out than normal okay so now i'm sectioning my first row where i'm going to add the micro links and it does need to be kind of small because you have to fit each piece of hair through the link. So make sure you're not making your sections too big. Okay, so now I'm just checking to make sure I kind of have it as even as possible on both sides. And I'm just gonna comb out my micro links to get them ready to install. So here is the link. This is what it looks like. It's already pre-looped, which is going to speed up this process so much. And I also have some pliers that you're going to need to squeeze the link together. So I'm going to start by taking a small piece. All right. So now I'm just going to take the loop and pull my hair through it. And then there's going to be a little kind of tab that you pull. You pull that through and it automatically pulls your hair through it. So if you've seen any other installs of micro links or micro loops, you have to have several pieces and this is already included everything's already laid out for you then you're just going to take your pliers and clamp it down and that is it so simple and um, i just want to show you guys how easy it is to take out i'm also doing this for myself because i want to make sure i know how to uninstall or remove any type of weaves beforehand so you see how that easy that was you just clamp it in the opposite direction and you slide it out all right, so I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna go ahead and put that first one back in and just loop your hair around and then find that tab and pull it through. It's so simple. You don't have to have all those other pieces. The loops are separate, the links are separate and a lot of other brands that do the links, but this is why I love the Y-Wigs. It's gonna make your installation process so much faster and easier because who has time to do all those other things so i'm just going to move it along here so this one here this is a perfect example of using too much hair so this next section was a little too big to fit through the micro link and you'll see like it just won't fit through and if you try to force it you're actually probably going to just break the link and then you'll just have to like use a different one so just make sure your pieces are small enough 
as you go through it, you'll find that sweet spot of how much hair or how little hair you need to use to get it through the micro length. So you can see here, I took some of the hair out of that piece and made it a little bit smaller. And now I'm just gonna pull it through. This was the right amount. And I also noticed that if you slide it down your hair to where maybe your hair is like not as thick at, at the root, my hair was still pretty puffy at the root. So it was really hard to pull it through at the root. So I slid it down a little bit so it could be easier to slide through. And then I'm going to clamp it. Also make sure you don't clamp it so close to your root. You wanna give yourself a little space so you can move it around. You don't want it to be too tight because it will hurt if you try to put it up in a ponytail or style it in any other way. So moving along, I'm at the back section now. And what I will say is in hindsight, I would have actually flat ironed my hair to make it as straight as possible. I would have moved much faster and I would have been able to get the micro links through much easier. Um, I just didn't want to flat iron my hair. I don't straighten my hair that much. I don't blow dry it that much. So I was just trying to, you know, save my hair from an unnecessary flat iron. But it really would have helped if I had done that. So when I do these again, because I already know I'm going to do this again because I love it already. I will flat iron my hair and make it as straight as possible. I think I'll just get through the whole process way faster. So you can see here another thing I started doing is sliding it down a little bit because my roots definitely weren't straight. They're still a little puffy. So I just slid it down to where it wasn't as puffy so I could get it through the link and then I pushed it up and clamped it down with the, pl with the pliers. So that also helped. Now I've seen a lot of people do this without straightening their hair. They kept their hair in their natural state and just put the micro links in like that because they didn't want to straighten their hair either. But I think for me, I would end up putting in way too much hair. Like I like volume, but my head's kind of small, so I don't need a million pieces of hair in my head. So if you straighten it, I think you'll get a better idea of how much hair you're putting in your hair. If you keep it in your natural state, your pieces are gonna have to be smaller because you're not gonna be able to pull the link through. So I think you'll end up putting in more hair than you need, if that makes sense. Okay, so now that I've done a few rows, I got the hang of it, I'm in the zone now. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed it up a little bit so you can see the rest of the install. Okay, I'm finally finished. I think that took me about maybe three to four hours. And don't be like me and start at midnight, but I know this is just what we do sometimes. <laughs> we start late because we just got other things going on in life. But I just really wanted to get it done. But I'm going to take a quick break and come right back. All right. Yes, let there be light. That is the sun coming up. But I'm determined I'm going to get this finished because I got a lot to do today. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take down my leave out and make sure I left enough out to cover all the links for all the styles that I wanna do. Okay, can we get into this texture match one more time? It matches my hair so good. I haven't even put a flat iron to it or anything and it's matching really good. So I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit, make sure I made enough of a leave out to cover everything. And the good thing is if I didn't, I could just take a few out, but I think I did. I think I left enough out. So this is how it looks in the back.
yep the amount of leave out that i made was perfect so now i'm gonna move on and i'm going to straighten my leave out i'm using this rusk thermal flat iron spray i actually found it in tj maxx never seen or heard of it before but i was like hey let me give it a try and now i'm hooked i used it all the time when i flat iron my hair and it really protects against moisture and sweat in any type of like humidity so i'll go ahead and put that in the description box along with everything else that i'm using but can we just stop and take a minute and give a shout out to my new growth my hair is growing y'all i had to do a chop earlier this year i was so sad because all the progress i had made the year before i just had to chop it off but i'm finally getting back almost back to where it was so shout out to my new growth so i'm gonna do a couple of quick pass throughs with my flat iron through the micro links I'm not trying to get it bone straight. I just want to get it straight enough just to knock some of the frizz out and to get it closer to the texture of my hair after I just flat ironed it. Okay, so there we go. It's not bone straight, but it's straight enough. It's matching my hair texture still. So I'm going to just play around with it a little bit more. I'm going to put it up in a half up, half down ponytail. I'm a half up, half down girl, y'all. It's like my favorite way to wear my hair. I really don't wear it down too, too much. I usually have it half up or all the way up. And the texture, y'all, are you, are you getting into this? It's like matching my hair perfectly. Now, I would just leave it like this. I really like it like this. I would just rock it like this for the rest of the day. But I don't want to play myself because I actually have to teach my dance class tonight. So you already know if any of you guys have taken my class, or heard of Bruck wine you know how we get down in our class I will be sweating tonight so I just said let me go ahead and put it up in a bun so I can preserve it I just did all that straightening and flat ironing so I will put it up in a bun so I can prevent some of the frizzing from the sweat and, and I also like to see how it holds up through sweating so I usually like to wear any new hairstyles I do to class just to see how it holds up so I can let y'all know if it's sweat proof or not all right so I'll be back after class Okay, so it's really like two days later and I did like two workouts. I did a class and I did a workout at home. So it's two days and two workouts later and it's still holding up. I mean, my hair is a little frizzy, but that's to be expected. But look at the micro links. They're still pretty straight, not too frizzy. So if any of you are wondering how it holds up with sweat and humidity, it's pretty good. It's officially Brookline approved and it will hold up through your workouts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it a little bit of some more shape at the ends. I didn't get a chance to trim it or do anything the other day. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to give it a little bit more shape at the ends. I did use a 16, 18 and 20. So it did kind of help me out. It's already kind of layered, but I still need to get the ends right because some of the ends are a little straggly. So I just want to make it all even and give it a nice little shape so it could fall nicely at the bottom. So I didn't cut too much. So you can see I just did a nice little tapered look on one side. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side as well. All right, so now I'm gonna put some curls in it. We already know it looks cute straight. So let's see what it looks like and how it holds up with some curls. So I'm gonna take my regular curling iron and just put some simple curls in it. I'm gonna start from the base and then just keep wrapping it around until I get to the ends. And I'm just gonna do that all the way through. And I'm taking kind of big pieces. I don't really want tiny curls. I just want some nice, bouncy, fluffy curls. Okay, all the curls are in and I just separated them with my fingers. I didn't use a brush or anything because I still wanted them to stay pretty fluffy and the curls came out good and the layering definitely helped with how the hair falls and the curls lay and everything. 
And obviously you can see I can't keep my hands out my hair. So I'm gonna play around with a few more styles and just see how it looks. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. Try it out and let me know what you think.